Okay, we'll start with the Mustard C49S size 12 and some yellow tying thread. We just want a little bit of tying thread here at the front. This is the uh, Atomic Caddis. What we need now is some catgut bio thread. This one is from Trout Line. Uh, you can find a link for this on my blog on the right hand side. Now the best thing to do with this is soak it. Now it comes in different sizes but I find the best is to get the largest one and once you've soaked it in water just for a couple of minutes you can take your dubbing needle and you can split it if you want to tie smaller flies yeah and then you just pull it from each other like so and what happens then is you get a nice taper makes it much easier to tie in and you get a much better taper on the body so we'll take this down here now the good thing about this material is that once you've tied it in and it gets wet it gives the most beautiful translucent natural looking body so we put it in just wet my fingers here just wet it a little twist it So I'll just get that tying thread up here and then I'll start wrapping the segmented body. Now you must remember to twist it with each couple of turns so you keep the nice segmented shape of the body. There we go. And you can see, I hope, how that's coming along now. I'll just move that tying thread forward a little bit again. I only need a couple of more turns. Just tighten up the twist in that again. That'll do us. So, let's hold that there. Reverse the tying thread into it again. And just lock it off and then tie it down. Clip that off and then you get, I mean, you only need uh, 10 centimeters or so for a body like that. Keep the other bits because you can just soak them in water and supple them up again. But I don't know if you can see this. I'll try and show you, illustrate a little bit better. Uh, when it gets wet, it makes the most beautiful, translucent, realistic, uh, very, very strong coloured bodies. So, come that far, then what we need is a couple of CDC hackles, a line up the points. This is the underwing of the caddis. So we place them at the side of the hook like that. Just make a couple of turns, three turns there. And then we just pull these through. We want this to be a little bit longer than the body. No, not happy with that, sorry. So line those points up again. There we go, that'll do me. We'll just tie that down a wee bit there. Lift these up. Trim off the ends. Let's go back. That'll do a super. Then we need a little bunch of deer hair. I want this to be a wee bit longer than the CDC wing. The CDC underwing will give the deer a little more buoyancy and create the necessary air bubble underneath. 
So we just go through the wing, forward, and that's perfect. Very good. That's what we like. And we just trim these off. Great. Let's go back a little bit. That wing to flare a little bit more. There we are. Then a little bit of burnt orange, natural dubbing. Don't need much of this. My spiky dubbing. Let's get that whip finish. I like to give it two. And of course, you can put a drop of varnish on if you wish. that and that's the atomic caddis I hope you can see that body uh, it is a wonderful little pattern and uh, fishes really well both in still water and in running water there we are cracking little pattern thanks for watching